RigMods.com for all your PC hardware, mods, and gaming news. Hi, and welcome to this RigMods guide on how to fit an EK water block onto a graphics card. Today, we are using the Asus GTX 680 and EK FC 680 GTX Nickel and Plexi water block. This water block has recently been discontinued in favour of the newer CSQ design water blocks found in the links below, but for the purpose of this guide it is ideal. We will take you step by step through this guide following the EK water block recommended methods. The items you will need to fully cover all parts of this guide are a small Torx screwdriver, a graphics card, an EK water block, a back plate, a Phillips head screwdriver and lastly some scissors for the thermal pads. First of all you need to remove these two screws that secure the card to the case. And moving along to the main graphics card you must remove all the screws and washers. There could be up to 20 screws on the back of the graphics card so please be careful not to lose any. Also, some of these screws may require a bit of force, so be extra sure that you have a very good fitting screwdriver. Once all of the screws are removed and the heatsink is removed, you must proceed to cleaning the core and the chips of the graphics card. Please use a decent cleaning product like Indigo Extreme Clean, denatured alcohol or isopropanol with a cotton swab until all remaining thermal compound is removed. The third step to this guide is adding thermal paste to the graphics core of the card. EK Waterblocks recommend using cross pattern for the best performance using the supplied Gellert GC Extreme Thermal Compound. We don't have any of that here today so we will use a similar highly rated compound. The next step is cutting the supplied thermal pads and placing them on the card. EK recommend a small amount of electrically non-conductive thermal paste on power phase regulators along with thermal pads to further aid the performance. EK provide you with more than enough thermal pads for the job and a good tip is to check against the thermal pads on the stock heatsink to double check all critical points are covered. And there we have it. Now you must carefully position the water block onto the graphics card, making sure to align the pre-installed standoffs with the holes on the graphics card. Do not mount with too much force or you will be in danger of cracking the chips. Flipping the card over, you must use 9 supply DIN7985 screws, making sure that you use a PVC washer with each screw. EK recommend that you start around the core, continuing outwards. Once you have done this, please remove the block a final time to make sure that all the contacts between the block and the card are uniform, then lastly secure the block once you are certain the contact between the block and the card is good. The last step is installing the back plate which involves cutting three supplied thermal pads and simply fitting with four screws and washers. And here is the back plate fitted. This concludes our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I help you a little with the installation of your new EK water block. Please subscribe for more videos and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for all at rigmods.com and EK Waterblocks. Rigmods.com for all your PC hardware, mods, and gaming news.